Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over my uh, Gundamber build and just a few of the detailed things I've done with the paint and things like that and a few things I kind of learned and some new tricks I'm going to try out then on my next build. So let's get into this guys. Alright guys, I guess we'll kind of do as usual. We'll start kind of from the head down and go over some different things I've done on this. First off, like on the weapons here, the of course seam line removal, but that was in some of my earlier videos on this kit. But when I first painted, I had it all just this neutral gray, and it just, I wasn't, it was just too plain for me. But I didn't want to overdo anything, so I ended up just adding some uh, uh, German gray. Just masked that off and just gave a little two tone look. I've done that with the cannon there on my shoulders, and I've also done it here with his uh, rifle as well. It's kind of right here, the top rail and the muzzle and everything on it. Just give it that little bit of extra and everything. Then of course I added just a few decals on that and then of course here on the can as well. Didn't want to go too crazy. I didn't want it to look like it was dipped in a bucket full of uh, decals. I wanted to keep everything pretty simple and very smooth to it. And as well on the head here, you can see I did a lot of two-tone, just the neutral gray and just the white. The white on this is actually, I took the the gold gray that I have for mission models. Uh, actually, it wasn't really like a gray. It's kind of a, it's a bit of an off-white and a grayish sort of color. Can't really explain it. But I just mixed that with some white to kind of give it more of a warm white. I didn't want the, uh, just the harsh white, straight, stark white on it. And I did, that's what I did for all the white pieces around the shield, the feet and the ankles and everything as well. And then here, uh, this actually also had two antenna on it and the one on this side of course if you could tell it would have gotten in the way of the cannon and it just kind of looked funny like a little weird antenna or well they are antenna duh but um like little rabbit ears were sticking up so I cut this one off and sanded and smoothed that down have all that in there it's all two-tone the face guard here where I would scribe some lines there to kind of break it break up the face a little bit and in the back behind the visor I used uh, some chrome paint that I put in there to give that a little bit more reflection. Don't know how well you can see all that in there. And then of course I just used some, uh, this kit actually just came with a decal sheet. It didn't come with any foil stickers. So I had, you know, I keep the spares of foil stickers and scraps and everything. So I cut out some to fit from the old stuff from it to fit in that. And I also did the same for the uh, rifle here as well. Just cut out some of my scrap stuff and put a little bit of a foil sticker in there. Now also, I used photo etch parts on this, my first time using them, and it's, it's nice to know that I didn't like these being so chrome and bright to begin with, so I ended up taking some Tamiya smoke, uh, clear smoke, and just spraying a coat over these, and it kind of gives them this darker uh, titanium look to them. And it's nice to know that I was worried since it's metal parts, it's real smooth, but it doesn't rub off or nothing, didn't come off, flake off or anything, it's been holding great on these parts which I was very happy for that. That's one of my big worries. Because I had some got here on the back skirts as well. And of course on the each one of the side skirts. Add a little bit there. And then also some of the decals. Oh and I also used some photo etch parts here, this the sort of bolt patterns here on each four corners. And the decals I ordered a some uh, simp ones off of eBay and all the line details like around the ankles the knees and things like that in the front skirting those were from that simp kit I got but I ended up using some of a uh, USA Gundam's decals when it came to the uh, warning labels because if you see right here on the foot that's just the simp ones are just too blurred out because there's no definition to them it's just a, a red bar there for the warning labels on this kit so I ended up using the uh, ones from USA Gunham I got a little while back and they worked out very nice. They worked pretty well. No issues with them at all. They all placed well. The ones from the from Simp, you know, they came off the sheets nicely. They, they placed well. Didn't have anything tear apart or break on me. So, I mean, they both functioned pretty well, but it's just the, the warning labels from the Simp just didn't look all that good. And then, you know, that was from the Simp one because that's pretty for this uh, kit itself along with the uh, 
iron cavalry decal, put one there and one here on the side of the chest. I didn't want them being too standout-ish. I wanted to keep everything pretty simple. And you can also see here on the Gatling gun on the shoulder, I did a two-tone on it as well. Moving on down here. Now, I last video I pointed out, you know, you've seen that I uh, drilled these holes in for some vent holes. I've done that on the chest there and on the backs of the legs here, inside and out. And I pointed, I pointed, that's what I am doing to just show all this, but uh, I painted the inside of them with some enamel uh, chrome, like I did with the visor back behind it. But I wasn't thinking that when I uh, uh, flat coated this, I next time I want to put some like maybe little balls of tack in there to keep that chrome covered up because it doesn't have the shine, of course, you know, with the flat coat on there like it did to begin with. There's still a little bit, but it toned it down a lot because there's a detail that you know on this kit that really weren't going to be able to notice that much to begin with when it was real shiny. So now it's even harder to notice it in there. But that's uh, something I want to carry on with my future kit, something I need to remember. Because there's a little bit of tiny balls in there stuck and that would have taken care of that problem easy. Now if you can see here on the back of the shoulder, there's that little spot there. And that's from straightening the elbow out when I was assembling everything. How the it rubbed on the inside of the armor piece up here in the upper arm. And I've had trouble with this. It doesn't matter how thin of a coat, how a few coats, whatever. When you add paint to your kits, it's always going to add some thickness to it. So I think oh, what I want to try on my next build when I have a joint like this one is I'm going to take my file and just kind of file down the inside of the joint where it meets up in there and give it just that little bit of extra breathing room. That way, hopefully, you know, you won't have to worry about bending it and posing it when you get everything assembled and having some crap like that. So I still need to kind of touch that up a bit. But that's something I'm definitely going to try. That's one of my big deals I learned on this kit that I'm going to give a whirl. And then really like seam line removal on this went well. Uh, plus this kit is great on seam lines. I mean all these on the legs were, are hidden very nicely. And you can see down here. Oh and I also got just a couple little decals here on the back. But yeah, I didn't want to go too crazy with them. Just kind of placed everything. Oh, and this is one from the scent model. This is a particular decal that is for the this kit itself. And I, after I drew, it was supposed to be up here on the chest, but after I drilled the holes and everything, I was like, uh, that isn't quite going to go on there, I don't think. So I had no idea where to put it. Then lo and behold, I thought about putting it down here, and then that wouldn't have fit. And then I was like, oh, hey, idiot, why don't you just move it over here? Because the thin part, you know, it's not so tall. It's right here, so it kind of worked out nicely. Stick it right underneath here on the lower chest. But all in all, this was a fun build. It was great. I enjoyed this immensely. This was for a miniaturite. Uh, he's doing a concept contest this month. And this was my entry into it. But this is a great and it's just a fun build. The colors, the main color on this, which if I haven't mentioned now, was a, just a simple Tamiya medium blue. It worked perfect for this. The purple color is uh, to me a purple but I've toned it down quite a bit and it was a uh, I added to me a neutral gray and white and I thank God that I'd mixed enough for just what I needed because I was getting mad because I couldn't get the color right how I wanted it and I started just throwing and I quit measuring how much I was putting in and I had just enough to cover the purplish parts that I needed because I would not have known how to mix and get the color accurate again I probably would have to start all over and then of course a little bit of two-tone down here, this little bit on the foot painted that neutral grays kind of give a bit more separation on all the parts. But yes, this was a great experience. I learned quite a bit. Some new tricks. My first time ever doing water slides actually, I forgot about that. And I don't know, if you're worried about doing water slides, it's not a big deal. Take your time. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Just watch a couple of videos on it. And actually, my next kit I'm gonna that I do water slides on. I'll do a little tutorial video on that because it's really nothing to be worried about. It was a pretty simple process once you got it down. It's tedious, yes, but it's a very simple process. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my kit here. A lot of work went to this guy and I'm very proud of it. It's one of my favorite builds I've done, which I've only done, I think this is number six of my painted builds. Still fairly new to all this, but it was a great learning experience. I had a blast and I can't wait to 
do my next painted kit and everything and next custom work to show y'all. But guys, I hope y'all have a good day and thanks for joining me guys. If y'all like the video, you know, hit the like button. Y'all take it easy. Later.